and remember that people, your customers are people, you're dealing with people. A lot more retention, a lot of people showing up the next, uh, the next meetings. But what else would you want to have in your sales process that you could build it from uh, scratch beside time? What's another factor that you want to have? It's, uh, if you're, if you got like a team, well, obviously you're going to have a team, right? I would definitely focus on coaching that team to know that and remember that people, your customers are people, you're dealing with people. It seems like with the bad experiences that I've had with terrible sales processes, it's that it's a result of people not really remembering that they're dealing with people. And so instead of really going the extra mile to make sure that I, as a consumer, understand you care about me. And even though, you know, I'm probably going to be giving you lots of money, it's not about the money, right? Um, but th it's not like that with the bad processes. So, and to me, that's a result of not being, well, there's so many little variables, but so there's hiring, but there's also coaching, right? So they're probably not being coached that, hey, this is how you want to treat these potential prospects. And this is how you want to communicate with them. Instead, it's more like, look, they have to, they need this product anyway, so you just look. If they don't want it, psh, just go on to the next one, right? Which is, I get it, but that's when customers like me come into the door who are very qualified and ready to drop some dough down, and I go, okay, never mind. I'll just go put my money elsewhere. So I would definitely really focus on coaching your team members who are dealing directly with that sales process to really understand that you're dealing with people at the end of the day. Yeah, I think... The big thing you mentioned there is the genuineness. This is something I've definitely tried to work on more. I know I've made you know mistakes in the past, not because I didn't want to. I always had the intention of helping people, um, but you know it might not have always come off. And I, I know that looking back on, I know I've made mistakes in my sales process. I didn't. I don't think people follow up. You know, I don't think people follow up after they get a no the first time uh, because they don't know how to follow up. They don't know what to say at the next time around. They're, 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 they don't know how to create that connection. And they just get so focused on the sales. And I've gotten, you know, focused on the sales too. Um, just like that was the main thing, you know, business, business, sales, sales. But it's really about creating that genuine connection. Like